So that's on to a new song. I think that's good as place as any to start. So, so last night I didn't stream because I was wandering around on the server about forever, basically last night while doing laundry and waiting for laundry to get done. It got done too late to start streaming. But anyway, so. I was actually wandering around looking for a division system and ended up finding one. It took forever, went out about 26k blocks from my home base, which is 10k blocks from Spawnish. And yeah, um, so anyway, I got a division sigil and I started thinking, okay, what's the safest, easier way to activate this? Wait for the phone to finish ringing there. So, I was thinking, had my brother come out here because I was doing stupid stuff, playing with things, wanted to show him something. Anyway, so, <clears throat> we were thinking, okay, what's the easiest way to activate there's a couple. I've seen one way on YouTube that makes it easier. It actually involves making a bunch of lights. Uh, I tried to find some others and see what was actually out there, but... But I'm not sure what people, if they're posting it as, what they're posting it. Looks like there's a tutorial on Reddit that links to the same video from a year ago. And honestly, I think that's a little overcomplicated. Because what he's showing is... Go to the video here and show it. This is a video by, it looks like, Shavel MC. On YouTube, looks he said he's using uh, the Railcraft lights up above it, so they're, I guess, only lighting one block, just barely. Got it walled in just to keep mobs from coming in and getting in the way. So basically, he's lighting up just, just bare minimum to keep it from spawning things. Which I found after figuring out this other way. Which I think is a hell of a lot easier. So, this is overcomplicated, if you ask me. So, I did a couple test rooms. <laughs> Figure out what my key's bound to for speed run. Yep, the final one I did there, just as playing around. Screwed up two here, put them together. Got two here, which I actually used fences, a first one there with fences. Oh. First one there with fences. Completely, totally fences. So, technically the cursed earth can spread as much as it wants to. So instead I blocked it off. I actually made this one too small. So it actually spawned on the outside. Burned and turned back in the grass at this point. This one I made big enough for holding the cursed earth so it wouldn't spread out to the other grass. But um, I still use fences. All the fences actually burned up on these from the fire of the Cursed Earth. These two were fences. Again, same setup, trying different things. It apparently doesn't care that there's a fence post on top of the altar. I think this one had a fence post too, but it's burned up. That I screwed these two up. So, and in between there... My brother had mentioned fans. Uh, not fans, fences. Mind Man Sama mentioned fences. Um, and then we were thinking, okay, so fences, they have to be a whole block above it. That allows spiders and stuff to spawn. And fences burn. Of course, you could use something like netherrack fences. Um, which are, like, stone, so they can't burn, basically. Then we played some more playing around, spawned a couple of weathers, blew stuff up, weathers went rampages, blah blah blah. 
had made this before. It's still here. The Cursed Earth is actually still underneath it. This is pretty simple. It's a 15 by 15 on the outside here where the cobble is. So 15 across. I don't have the So corner block two other corner block is fifteen and fifteen again. So technically you could make this much, much bigger. So you could make this as big as you wanted for first earth spawn. You could let it spread out as I guess as much as you wanted. So the inside is thirteen by thirteen, which is just enough. I screwed up there. 13 by 13. Just enough to spawn all the cursed earth in it without having it spread outside. It's probably losing a couple blocks, but hey, cursed earth will spread at some point. Not going to want to spread to that because grass. So. Anyway, this does be here. I was asking myself a question. These are expensive to make in expert mode, is what our server's on. Set to. Our server play. So anyway. So like I said, this is pretty simple. We're thinking, okay, so you have to have so much space here that's not blocked. Technically, this is the most space. This this outer or inner ring here, this 9 by 9, 5 by 5. Yeah, 5 by 5 inner ring. Is what you need. Then you got a three by three around it. You gotta have some space there. So you got a nine by nine that has to be have a whole block space above it. Got to be a whole block there, so you actually have torches. I put it. So you actually have stuff that can spawn here. Technically, something could spawn there, but it's covered, so it's saying it can't. For whatever reason. So, and I had the torch in there, torch back, and basically one torch will actually keep this whole area from spawning anything once you activate. Let's see if I can jump out of this with the, I have Tinker's armor, maxed out Tinker's armor on the server, so I gotta test that when I get to the server. So. Pretty simple to build. Grab a blank spot over here. This should be start. My brother also mentioned something pretty good. You could build this up in the air and then harvest from underneath and still be safe. So one, go fifteen, fourteen. Here. There. Fifteen here. Fifteen. Jumping too high here. 15 over here. Now this is kind of like a first how-to video, so do me if I don't have anything like the stage is prepared beforehand. They don't sue me. You won't get anything. I don't have anything. <laughs> so we got our 15 by 15. There, 15 here. 15 by 15. And what we want to do is cover it. Just, well, basically, half slab right above it so it still counts it as a block or a block area where something can not kill the grass. So now we have this nice little perfect Minecraft uneven square. Minecraft, everything that's uneven is even. Alright, there's the center, right? 
Yeah, so that's the center. Place your enchantment table like normal. Clear out the space. Need all five by five. All this. Place your redstone. Of course, you gotta have that redstone around an enchantment table. So you got that. Then, because you don't want stuff getting out, you want to be able to get out basically. But you gotta have it so, because if you place it here, if you were to back in, if you were to leave this all filled in, you know it has to have a minimum amount of space. Otherwise, you can't do it. The sigil will say, area lacks sufficient natural earth. Uh, I don't have enough natural earth, so that's why I'm out. Now they could very well fix this. Now we have enough natural earth. Actually, we have more than enough, technically. But we also still have too much light, too much area where stuff can get out and spawn and kill us, which I don't want. Too nasty. So build all this up, place the blocks, up twice there, place enough. Altar must not be lit by outside sources. Okay, so sun's up, count that as lit. So yeah, I could hop out of there. Go place a torch. No, I can't. Did that, I could place one torch. So technically you could do it like that. So you've got basically a simple, safe place to activate your division sigil. Hello, Super Gamer! So, let's go ahead and try to activate this. It says we can. I'm missing a sheep. I don't want a pig, man. I'm not going to use a pig. I want my torch there. I don't need that. So, let's go ahead and get out creative just to... They've set it to midnight. Nice and dark. Spawner sheep. Kill our glass sword, get burned, put a torch down, we have cursed earth. Where nothing can spawn, and another plus, we set it back to noon, daytime, it can't burn. Now my brother did mention another thing. You could very well build this up in the air, so it was off the ground so you could walk under it. And then mine it from the underneath. I was thinking of just doing it through the holes on the fence as well. The fences will burn. And then I'd have to worry about burning fences during the day. Because the grass, the cursed earth will burn. Problem. I don't want to catch on fire. You don't want to catch on fire. You don't want to die to this stuff. So you could, again, like he was saying, build this up. Go back to creative. Up above the ground. By here. One, two, three, seven, eight. Nine. And crash that. That is not a measuring tape. That is a measuring tape. There, to here, 15, there, here, 15, fill that out, here, we got our frame, which I guess you wouldn't need, but I'm going to do a frame anyway, on. Depot stairs. And what I need. Jackson grass. 
fill that in. All this in sake of a builder's wand in expert mode. Oh, expert mode. 16k blocks to find a flipping division. How to do it the easiest, tedious way. We got that built. I'm going to put this up. Build across. Why? Because we're cheating. Find our center. Center. We're out. Center the needed space. Octane. OP creative mode. Get our redstone, set it back down. Circle set up. Second layer down. Spread that out, break that. The block here. Black down. Now you could do it from here, except my only problem is it's not easy to place a torch. So do that. Easily come down here, place a torch. I don't have regular torch. Now I got a regular torch. Place a torch down, break it. Get in here, I can put a sheep in here. Or whatever you were going to sacrifice. Sacrifice! For the sake of being able to build. So you can place your sheep down, it can't go very far. Wait till midnight. Have something to kill it with. Oh, did we screw up? Oh. Yeah, we screwed up. We didn't have a proper division. Make sure this is right. Time is right. Gas. Skeleton. Place our sheep back down. Oh, we don't want a baby sheep. That would just be wrong. We didn't kill anything. Get it back to midnight. Make it so I'm not creative. Here we're in hard mode. So we're in hard mode. We got stuff spawning. Hopefully nothing comes up here and screws us up. Make sure nothing can get up here. You could light all this up, I think. If I were to put a light... Right here, just light all this up under here, just as another test. I know you can light all this up if you wanted to without any issue, because it's not going to light up in there. See what the division sigil says. Keep you're in the way. I want to see what the division Vision sigil must not be lit by outside sources. Set it to midnight. Not be lit by outside. Gain light from somewhere. I wonder if it's from underneath. The thought is it's from underneath. So. Nope, it's from above, so everything's lit up from below. I bet I could light this up. Cautionary measure. So I don't get stuff spawning on me. I'm going to do this in actually my real world, so this was all a test. So, not lit. We can spawn our sheep, and we can... Make it midnight, out of creative, whacker sheep. Don't know where all those torches came from. Light it up, and we're good. 
If it's daytime, nothing's going to burn because it doesn't have any direct sunlight. We're good. So I'll make that a, I'll upload that as a video to YouTube later as another way to do this because I've actually not, I mean, I don't know if the, let's say, all the big time people, don't blow me up. So many mobs, jeez. Anyway, I haven't seen any of like the big time streamers or anyone do something like this. I always just do it and then go crap, which is great. I don't want to do that. I want to live. I don't want to die 20 times just to get a little bit of cursed earth. So, that's what we're going to do. I had to uh, kill the video here. Uh, thanks for stopping by.